Hello there, good morning, it's Phil Thatch and I'm here at the trailhead of the Bay Point Loop Trail which is at Harrison Bay State Park in Hamilton County, Tennessee. And my plan was to hike down that trail and I've got the uh, my Canon RF 100mm macro lens and my Canon R6, the Mikey MK320 flash and a Crafty Bells diffuser. So my plan was to hike down that trail and to try to find some bugs and insects and things to photograph. But when I pulled into the parking lot for this trail, I saw these completely fantastic tall flowers growing. And I said, well, I gotta make a picture of that. And then when I came over here to start making pictures of these, some of them had insects on them. So I, uh, I worked here for a pretty good little bit and made a few photos of these flowers and the insects on these flowers. So to start off with, let's look at those. This is a pink spotted lady beetle, sometimes called the 12 spotted lady beetle, and it's just a cool little ladybug. It's not the typical ladybug that I would photograph, but I was really happy to see it and to make these photographs, and I love the way it looks on these bright yellow flowers. It was really cool to go do bugs, but bugs on flowers. This little creature is called a leaf hopper, I believe, and when I first made a photograph of it while I couldn't see the bug very well, I took a photograph of the back thinking it was the front. On further review, the front is the front. This is a moth that I took a quick photograph of. I think it was asleep, but I still photographed it for a moment. I'm not sure exactly what kind of fly this is. It was cool to get a photograph of it and it looks like it's had a rough life because look at all the damage on its wings. And this next little creature is what I believe is a fork-tailed bush katydid. Super cute little bug. I was happy to get a photograph of it and I got an even better photograph of it later. This bee is an Eastern calligrapher and this is the second time that I have photographed one of these. A couple of weeks ago, I got another shot of one of these calligraphers. I only photographed a couple of spiders in today's video, and here's the first one. It's an orb weaver of some sort or an orchard spider. I'm not sure exactly what kind, but I like to present it upside down like I found it. And this creature here, I believe, is related to a firefly, but I'm not sure if it's actually a firefly. I wish I could have gotten low enough to photograph its eyes. I'm really enjoying this Crafty Bells diffuser. I've had it for months and never have used it. I ended up actually buying this after seeing uh, another YouTuber who I'm fond of, Peter Virage, use one. And it's not just this part. There's also um, a device that, that reflects light back down into the diffuser. And then there's kind of like a secondary diffuser that goes across. And while that looked really cool when Peter was using it, and I'm sure it was extremely functional, when it came in, it was kind of overwhelming to me. I like the simp simplicity of just using a diffuser. Well, uh, I started using this diffuser in Bugs From Work episode five, which may or may not even be out yet. And just by itself, it's fantastic. Um, it's thick. There's material on the outside that's kind of sewn onto what I think might be a foam pad on the inside, which does a fantastic job of diffusing the light and uh, making the specular highlights of the insect you're photographing not be too shiny. And this part that, that actually makes contact with the lens, I'm not sure what it's made of, but it's almost a rubberized material to keep your lens from getting scratched. I love the, the Crafty Bells logo sewn on and it connects on this side with Velcro and then there's an elastic strap. So you could probably use it on just about any size lens you wanted to try it on. So I think that's really cool. It might even work on the tiny Laowa 85 millimeter 5.6, which is a lens I've been considering, but this doggone Canon 100 millimeter is so great, I probably won't get one. But anyway, I'm enjoying the Crafty Bells diffuser that I've owned for two months and have only just started using. What was I thinking? This colorful creature is a milkweed bug. I think it's a large milkweed bug, although it could be a small milkweed bug. And look at this. Here is the second spider in the video. I believe this is a large or long-jawed orb weaver. It was on a garbage can. 
Here is what I believe is a goldenrod soldier beetle. I wasn't able to get it very big in the frame, but at least it was sharp back there in the background, and I like that you can see its environment in this shot. I believe this is a plant hopper of some form, and I photographed it upside down and decided to present it to you how I saw it in the wild upside down so that's pretty cool and here is a more traditional ladybug or ladybird some people call it this is the seven spotted ladybird and that's my finger there i was holding the leaf up and here is another photograph of one of those milkweed bud bugs really cool looking bug it may have been my favorite bug of the day and now i'm back again taking photographs of the seven spotted ladybug Really cool, kind of the traditional ladybug that you see more than any other variety. I got two for one on this shot. There's another one of those plant hoppers down at the bottom, super tiny, and also a beautiful green bee of some sort. I'm not sure exactly what kind of green bee this is. Here's another photograph of it. Look at all of the pollen all over this bee. It might be an orchid bee, but I really don't know. If you do, put it in the comments. Well, I still have not left the little flower garden that's at the trailhead of the Bay Point Loop Trail. I, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of insects to photograph down that trail, but I can't imagine it could be better than the mecca of bugs that these flower gardens here at the trailhead are. Plus, it's right by the car, so I can pause, take a little break, and have some coffee. Here's another interesting looking fly that I photographed on this day. It's in way better shape than the last one, as you can see the wings are completely intact and it looks really beautiful there on that leaf. This is a Japanese beetle, invasive species. I'm actually uh, working on another video, Bugs from Work number five, where I photograph one of these. And here is the Katie did again. This may be my favorite video of the entire day as the Katie did is standing there on the petal of the flower looking at the center of the flower. Hey, look, it's a couple of those plant hoppers, and it looks like they are trying to get busy and make some little plant hoppers. I wish I could have gotten more of the plant hopper in focus, but they are tiny. Here's another one of those beautiful milkweed bugs, probably the large milkweed bug, one of my favorites of this day that I photographed. And here is another Japanese beetle. My exposure was kind of dark on this one when I was working on it, so I bumped my ISO up to 800 and reshot and it turned out really nice the japanese beetle and here is one more photograph of a milkweed bug really beautiful this was probably my favorite looking on the back of the camera but once i got home i liked some of the other ones better well it has been a fantastic morning of macro photography i've been here for about two hours and uh, we're having kind of a heat wave right now in mid-june of 2022 here in the tennessee area and I came out here really early and now it is already starting to get very hot. So I'm going to go ahead and call it. Uh, I think I'm finally starting to get the hang of macro photography. Um, and I would like to thank Peter Virage and Michael Waddell, two um, YouTubers who I've learned a lot from. And uh, gosh, I can't believe I waited this long to try the Crafty Bells dif diffuser because it has really helped uh, improve the look of my photos. And, uh, you know, macro photography is hard, but if you study on it and learn about it, eventually you'll get better. And uh, that's kind of what's happened to me. And that's been, you know, basically all types of photography for me. None of them have come easy. Uh, I've always just kind of gotten better by practicing, practicing, practicing. And that is exactly what I recommend that you do as well. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, as my friend David Sailors would say, now get out there with your camera and make a picture. What does he say? Get your camera out and take a picture. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Maybe a thumbs up and a subscribe would be awesome to see more content like this and other photography content that is nothing like this. Bye-bye. As I was leaving Harrison Bay State Park, I couldn't help but notice this beautiful doe on the side of the road, and I just pulled up and stopped, and then I picked up the camera and got it out of macro mode, though I was still using the macro lens, and made this wide-open f2.8 photograph.